Good evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Wednesday, the 28th of April. As we come together, let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him dark death has been destroyed, and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory, and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Ye choirs of New Jerusalem, you sweetest notes employ, the path of victory to him in strains of holy joy. How Judah's lion burst his chains and br crushed the serpent's head, and brought with him from death's domain the long-imprisoned dead. Triumph in his glory now, his scepter ruleth all. Earth and heaven and hell before him bow, and as his footstool fall. While joyful thus with his praise we sing, his mercy we implore, into his palace bright to bring and keep us evermore. All glory to the Father be, all glory to the Son, all glory, Holy Ghost, in thee to endless ages run. Alleluia, Amen. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 47. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Clap your hands together, all you peoples. O oh, sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. <clears throat> he has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the, sa the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the people are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For the power of the earth belongs to God. And he is very highly exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Our second psalm for this evening is Psalm 48. We have waited on your loving kindness, O oh God. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great King. In her palaces God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They writhed like a woman in labor. As when the east winds shatter the ship, ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad, because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Count all her towers. Consider well her bulwarks pass through her citadels, that you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God. The Old Testament reads is a continuation of the book of Exodus, chapter 33, from the beginning to the end of the chapter. The Lord said to Moses, Go, leave this place, you and the people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt. And go to the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, To your descendants I will give it. I will send an angel before you, and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, and the Pevisites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Go up to a land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go, not go, 
but I will not go up among you, or I will consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. When the people heard these harsh words, they mourned, and no one put on ornaments. For the Lord has said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, You are a stiff-necked people. For in a single moment I should go up um, among you, I would consume you. So now take off your ornaments, and I will decide what to do with you. Therefore the Israelites stripped themselves of their ornaments from Mount Horeb onwards. Now Moses used to take the tent and pitch it outside the camp, far off from the camp. He called it the tent of meeting, and everyone who sought the Lord would go out to the tent of meeting, which was outside the camp. Whenever Moses went out to the tent, all the people would rise and stand, each of them at the entrance of their own tents, and watch Moses until he had gone into the tent. When Moses entered the tent, the pillar of cloud would descend and stand at the entrance of the tent, and the Lord would speak with Moses. When all the people saw the pillar of the cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, all the people would rise and bow down, all of them, at the entrance of their tents. Thus the Lord used to speak with Moses face to face, as one speaks to a friend. Then he would return to the camp, but his young assistant, Joshua, son of Nun, would not leave the tent. Moses said to the Lord, See, you have said to me, Bring up this people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have have also found favour in my sight. Now if I have found favour in your sight, show me your ways, so that I may know you and find favour in your sight. Consider too that this nation is your people. He said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said to him, If your presence will not go, do not, ca do not carry us from here. For how shall it be known that I have found favour in your sight, I and your people, unless you go with us? In this way we shall be distinct, I and your people, from every people on the face of the earth. The Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing that you have asked, for you have found favour in my sight, and I know you by name. Moses said, Show me your glory, I pray. I will, get, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim before the name the Lord, and I will be gracious to, to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on those whom I will show mercy. But, he said, you cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, See, there is a place to by me where you shall stand on the rock, and while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft on the rock, and will cover you with my hand until I pass by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face you shall not, shall not be seen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God raised Christ from the dead. The Lamb without spot or stain, Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who are being protected by the power of God through faith, for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You are ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised you from the dead and gave you glory, so your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. God raised Christ from the dead, the lamb without spot or stain. Alleluia. Our New Testament reading is a continuation of the Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 3, verses 15 to 22. As the people were filled with expectation, and all were questioning their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. So in many other exhortations he proclaimed the good news to the people. But Herod, the ruler, who had been rebuked by him because of Herodias, his brother's wife, and because of all the evil things that Herod had done, added to them all by shutting up John in prison. Now when all the people were baptised, and when Jesus also had been baptised and was praying, the heavens were opened and the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. 
He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live, and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. <clears throat> my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected had become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We thank you for all that you've done with us and through us. We thank you for the guidance and the nudges you have given us. Help us always to be mindful of your will. Help us to seek to do the good. Help us seek to do what is right by you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we come to the end of the day, let us be grateful for all that you have given us. We give thanks for our homes, the food we have on our tables, for our families. We pray for all those who lack, for those who do not have a safe home life, for those who live in fear of others, for those who will go to bed hungry, for those who are struggling to make end meet. We pray, Lord, for those who are in desperate need of your love and support. Help us to be that love. Help us to be that support. Lord, in your mercy, <clears throat> hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are suffering with coronavirus. <clears throat> we pray particularly for those who are struggling with the virus at this time. Those who are in isolation. Those who are shielding. Those who are fearful those who are in need of, of support. We pray for countries around the world as they battle the coronavirus. We pray especially for India and for Brazil. We pray for all those who are in lockdown or entering new lockdowns. We pray, Lord, that you would keep us safe as we start to emerge from this third lockdown. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son to show us peace. You sent him that we might learn the way of peace. We pray for all places where there is violence and conflict, where there is no peace. We pray, Lord, that you would send your peace on all who suffer. We pray especially for Myanmar, for Hong Kong, for Mozambique, for Syria, for the Ukraine and for Yemen. We pray for all people who have been displaced because of war or violence. We pray especially for those who are the victims of domestic violence. Lord, turn the hearts of those who would wish violence on others that they may seek reconciliation. May we offer sanctuary and asylum to all those who are trying to flee violence. May we never turn away from those who are in need but offer the love and friendship which you have done through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us and those who are known to you alone. We pray particularly for Davy, for Jilly, for Megan and for Ella. 
We pray for all suffering from cancer, for those who are suffering from mental health conditions, for those who are in need of operations or have had operations delayed. We pray too for those who are reaching the end of their lives and those who have recently lost their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life, uh, to the life of righteousness that we may seek these things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Rejoice in God's new creation, let us pray confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joy of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Please do join me tomorrow at 9am and again at 5pm for morning and evening prayer. And until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good evening.